Welcome to class 7 mathematics classes. We are in chapter percentage. Today we will do exercise 9c. Question number 5. By what number must a given number be multiplied to increase it by 12%? So here by what number? This number we are going to find. Assume that the number be x. Okay. So let the number be x okay so according to question this number is increased by 12 percent okay so increase is equals to 12 percent of x okay so here we can cancel this to 6 ja, to 50 to 3 ja, to 25 so this equals to 3x by 25 now total increase total increased value will be equal to this plus x 3x by 25 plus x okay so this gives us 25 3x plus 25 x so the sum is equals to 28 x here and 25 in the denominator so by this expression we can understand that the fraction or the number 28 by 25 if we multiply with x then the number will increase by 12 percent so therefore we can write 28 by 25 is the number to be multiplied okay so this is the number if we multiply with that number to increase it by 12 percent okay 28 by 25 six number by what number must a given number be multiplied to decrease it by 30 percent so by what number this number we're going to find and so let the number be x okay so let the number be x okay now decrease value it is decreased by 30 percent so decreased value is 30 percent of x so which is equals to 3x by 10 okay so decreased value is equals to x minus so this is decreasing by this percent 3x by 10 okay this much value it is decreased so we'll calculate here 10 as the LCM 10x minus 3x this equals to 7x by 10 so if we multiply x by 7 by 10 this figure then it will decrease by 30 percent then this x will decrease by 30 percent so therefore we can write 7 by 10 is the number to be multiplied okay Seven number the price of a fan increases from 3262 rupees 3749 find the increased percent in its price so original price is this one and the final price of the fan is this one okay the difference of this will give us the increased value okay so here solution original price is equals to rupees 3260 and increased price is equals to rupees 3749 okay increased value is equals to rupees 3749 minus rupees 3260 which is equals to rupees 489 okay 489 now increase value or increase percentage is given by increase value 
by the original value into 100%. So here, increase value by original price into 100%. Okay, so here this is equals to 489 by 3260 into 100%. So when we calculate this, we'll get it as the increased percent. Okay. One jar, three jar, five three jar, fifteen percent. Okay. So increased percent is equals to fifteen percent here. Question number eight: The monthly salary of Mr. Rakesh is rupees thirty-two thousand five hundred. After deducting the provident fund, he gets rupees twenty nine thousand nine hundred per month. What percent of the salary is deducted as provident fund? So the difference of these two will give us the provident fund. Okay, the amount deducted as provident fund. Solution: Salary is equals to rupees thirty two thousand five hundred. And final salary after deducting is equal to rupees twenty nine thousand nine hundred. Okay, so the difference of this will give us the provident fund amount deducted as provident fund is rupees thirty two thousand five hundred minus rupees twenty nine thousand nine hundred. This difference is twenty six hundred, so the percentage of salary deducted as provident fund will be given by difference of the salary. Okay, percentage of salary deducted will be equal to twenty six hundred by the original salary. So this we can cancel. Into hundred percent here, okay. So by five, five six are thirty, five five are twenty five five twenty times here. Again by five thirteen times, four times a thirteen one are thirteen two are, so four two are eight percent. So eight percent of the salary is deduct is deducted as provident fund, okay. The difference of the Salary by the original salary into hundred percent gives us this percent of salary deducted as provident fund. Okay.